I've been playing around with 3D scans for the past seven months and I am mad, but in the best way possible. I'm like, why didn't I start this sooner? After scanning over 100 objects and spaces, I can confidently say that the joy I get from doing it is indescribable for example this is one of the scans that i did back home and this is the final artwork this is another one that i did a while ago and this is the final result now look 3d scanning can be very tough if you don't know where to begin so in this video i'm going to break down the basics and the fundamentals of 3d scanning and also provide you with 10 free 3d asset that i scanned myself the link will be in the description if you are interested to download them before we begin i'd like to clarify that i'm not going into detail because that could take a while but there are two ways to begin scanning. I call it the beginner mode and the advanced mode. The beginner mode is pretty much what I've been doing so far, which is using my phone to 3D scan. Uh, this is a case because I don't have my phone with me at the moment, but all you need to do is just to download an app called Polycam. There are obviously a lot of 3D scanning apps, but Polycam is my favorite so far and it is not sponsored. I'm actually trying to get them sponsor me. So if you're listening, hit me up, but you must have a feature called LiDAR on your phone. If you have iPhone 12 or higher, you'll be able to do that. Now, I'm not sure about iPhone 11, but lower than that, that's the unfortunate part where you either have it or not. But if you don't, and if you have a camera, even a camera that could shoot raw, uh, could be your phone, could be anything, just something that could shoot raw. There's another way of doing it that is more advanced, takes more time and it's more expensive, which is taking hundreds of pictures of an object or a space in an even lighting situation and then putting them in a software called Reality Capture, which is designed to create highly detailed and realistic 3D scans. But in this video, I'm going to give you an idea of what I've been doing personally and how I've been using these 3D scans and implementing them in my artworks. If 3D scanning is generally something you would be interested in to, to talk about, to kind of cover more in the future videos and maybe even a masterclass or a whole class about it, let me know in the comment below. Now, if you want an iPhone, 12 and above then you are at the right place 3d scanning is one of those things that if you don't really enjoy the process is gonna be really difficult to keep going so with continuous practice you can get better and better with the how you 3d scans and get familiar with the app also kind of realize what works and what doesn't in the beginning your 3d scans might suck a bit but slowly but surely. Now, why 3D scans? Basically, simple reason for that, 3D scans are like incredibly helpful for artists who wants to create highly realistic works. I am personally a sucker when it comes to imperfections. So it could be anything, could be a wall or could be a street, a road, any object that could add more realism to, to my work. And 3D scanning is Mwah. It is lovely. Cutting costs is no brainer when you switch to 3D scans. Not only do they save you time and money, but they also provide a greater versatility. They are rad choice for pretty much anyone looking to create dope artworks or design without wasting resources on physical scan. I have to mention it's not always sunshine. It's They are not always great. Uh, actually, when it's come to reflective surfaces, which we're gonna get to it in a bit, it's terrible there's it, it works in some areas and it doesn't work so if you can mix your modeling skills with the actual 3d scans and kind of mix all together and not only rely on 3d scans it would be the best approach so don't fully rely on 3d scans because sometimes you'll be stuck at some point the only way to do it is just 3D modeling. Here are five tips that will help you to take better 3D scans using Polycam on your phone. Good lighting. Proper lighting is essential to capture accurate scans. Make sure you are in a well-lit environment and avoid shadows and dark areas. And most importantly, avoid sunny days. They will ruin your scans and I mean it because they create these shadows and highlights all over your scans and you don't want that especially if you want to use lighting in your advantage and inside this 3d software that you're using avoid reflective surfaces reflective surfaces can interfere with the scanning process so try to avoid them or use non-reflective material to cover them clean your lens it's absurd how many times i've uh, 
made this mistake. I've not cleaned my lens and I would scan something and it will look very weird. So clean the lens before scanning to ensure clear images and accurate scans. Capture your subject from multiple angles to ensure a complete 3D scan. So whatever you look from the 360 degree, it looks proper. 3D scanning is one of those things that you really have to enjoy the process. And I mentioned that in the beginning, it takes time. So do not rush through the scanning process. Take your time to ensure like you're capturing the accurate and complete scans. And finally, I just want to mention is practice, practice, practice. Like anything, the more you practice, the better you will get and take time to experiment with different techniques and settings to find what works best for you. So let's say you just scanned your first 3D scan. Where to start? Well, first you have to export it. I usually go with GLTF format with Blender on. After that, I'm going to Blender and I can easily import it in the import section and pretty much that's how easy it is to play with 3D scans. Now I'm going to show you quickly inside Blender what I usually do with these 3D scans and how you can take advantage of it as well and pretty much start 3D scanning. So I'm not gonna get into the nitpicks and the details here, but right off the bat, I start by cleaning up the scans so they don't take too much space while using them. So I remove all the extra vertex while keeping the original resolution. This is basically a time-lapse of how far you can go with these 3d scans and what you can create and the amount of possibilities here are endless especially when you're going out on the street and scanning pretty much every object you can here as you can see i'm trying to kind of create an environment out of all these 10 3d scans which you can download them for free and all these scans were actually scanned in a shady weather which was a perfect lighting condition enabling me to add whatever kind of light i want to add in my sceneries all right guys that's all for today thank you so much for watching make sure to grab those 3d scans the link will be in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one